What's up guys? It's Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. Today was a lot about work. I had to go take a look at a couple of properties this morning and we've got a lot of projects coming up. So we're definitely gonna be busy this year. We got a handful of buildings that we're starting on. Some are renovation projects. Some of these deals are in escrow and a couple of them are near completion. So we're gonna get ready to get those leased up and then get them back out on the market. I also got my car back too. So my 2008 Super Legera was getting some work done to it recently. Avant-Garde Exotics, they were the ones who actually helped with all of the engine work. They redid the motor. They obviously put a lot of time and energy into it. Um, we did porting of the intake manifold, the heads. Basically everything got sauced down and, and put back together, which was nice. We put bronze valve guides in there too, so it's got a little bit of that nice race effect in terms of what went back into the motor. Instead of some stock parts, we went with some pretty neat stuff aftermarket. I also got the Sprint Booster, so I'm sure who's ever used this or seen this before knows what, what it's about. It does add a lot of throttle response to the car, so I'm like crazy excited about how it drives now. I also got my Narbox 2.0 today. I got the one terabyte version, so I'm gonna break this open and put it through its paces. I got this recommended by one of my really good friends, and he suggested that I pick this up. Since I do some traveling and I do some vlogging and photography and all that stuff, I need something like this. All right guys, so let me show you what I'm gonna be eating over the next couple of weeks or so. This is pretty much my little stash from Butcher Box, so it's pretty much freezer full of food. So this is a lot of the protein here. So there's some steaks. This is all grass-fed, grass-finished beef. As you guys know with Butcher Box, that's what they do. Uh, so these two are grass-fed, grass-finished ribeye. This is their pork. It says that it's all vegetarian feeds. So, you know, pork is questionable depending on your source of where you get it, but I think that this stuff from what I've tried so far is actually the best quality. I don't know what it is, but you can actually taste it in the fat. I sometimes just stray away from a lot of different meat sources and I'm actually glad that Butcher Box is sourcing these things ethically and through places that, you know, their farms are using great ingredients to keep their animals before they go to slaughter. They actually seem to be getting quality meats out of there, so they're doing pretty well from what I can tell. Huge pieces, so talking. There's four ounce servings, four of those in the container, 30 grams of protein per serving, which is great. So it's a boneless pork loin chop, nice. And then the other boneless pork loin chops, these are actually smaller. So look at these, kind of see that they're two smaller pieces as opposed to the one larger piece. And here's what their six ounce grass-fed, grass-finished filet mignon steak has in terms of contents. It's also 23 grams of protein per serving, and that's one and a half grams per serving. So all of this stuff is actually super, super lean and healthy for you guys. Um, these are gonna be pretty delicious as well. Good cuts, these can actually go into a broth, and the filet obviously you can pair that up with, I don't know, more meat. But yeah, this is a pretty big, big haul of food as far as protein goes. This is gonna last, I'm guessing, as little as two weeks, but I might be able to stretch it to three depending on the portion size and I'm also gonna be incorporating eggs in the diet as well, so this is just part of it. So my protocol usually is I'm fasted every other day, so I'll go through like a 24, 36, or even like a 48 hour fast. Days that I train, those are the days that I'm actually going to be eating probably bigger portions of food, and there might just be you know, a day where, maybe like on a Sunday where I'm with family or something where I'll probably have double what I normally have in terms of protein. So we'll see, just gonna look at my calendar and pick the days that I really wanna make sure that I open up for a healthy diet. This is what I'm having today. I'm actually gonna be doing a couple of patties, grass-fed, grass-finished beef, and this eight ounce ranch steak. And the usual seasoning that I use, as you can see, it's all the same, Redmond Real Salt. I don't like any normal table salts. I always go for something like this or some pink Himalayan salt. And also, I still cook only with olive oil, so that's pretty much standard. I don't cook with any other types of oils unless it's avocado oil, but for now, this'll do. And then go ahead and get everything done soon. 
But day two, so far so good, no issues. Keep it really simple, really light. And this will probably take two sittings to finish, but that's all the meals I'm having for today. And I'm also gonna go work out later as well. So everything feels fine. Um, my biomarkers are back, blood tests are here. I'm gonna share those in another video so you guys can see what my start point is. And then I'll do another test after 30 days just to see what my blood markers look like. The fat coming out of the ground beef. I don't know if you guys can tell or if it's coming through in the video, but what's nice about having a grass-fed, grass-finished type of beef is that the fat content itself is actually not as harmful to you as something that's grain-fed. So this is all stuff that you're putting back in your body that's natural, that came from the ground, as opposed to something that's grain manufactured that kind of stuff, there's no hormones, there's no additives. So it definitely does come through in the taste, but also in the fat content itself. So I'll be posting at least one or two videos a week. So I hope you guys check back in for more. And if you guys have any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I'll keep you guys posted. If you guys subscribe, you guys will get notifications when I post another video. And if you guys have any questions or anything about me, let me know. All right guys, talk to you soon, bye.